Wine Class Philippines. Welcome to Mathematics 7 Class. Today, we are going to study about the union and intersection of sets and the difference of two sets. Sets. A set is a collection of things. For example, the item you wear is a set. This includes hat, shirt, jacket, pants, and so on. You write set inside a curly bracket. Like this. Curly bracket, hat, shirt, jacket, pants, followed by period then closed by a curly jacket. You can also have set of number, set of full numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Set of prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Let's have the example, 10 best friends. You could have a set made up of your 10 best friends. Kunwari, meron kang 10 kaibigan. Maaari itong maging set. Ililitan mo lamang ang kanilang pangalan. Example, Alex, Blair, Cassie, Drew, Erin, Francis, Glenn, Hunter, Ira, Jay. Each friend is an element or member of the set. It is normal to use lowercase letters for them. Bawat isa ay isang elemento o miyembro ng set. Ayos lamang na gumamit ng maliliit na titik para sa kanilang mga pangalan. Now, let's say that Alec, Cassie, Drew, and Hunter play soccer. Soccer equals set of Alex, Cassie, Drew, Hunter. It said that the set soccer is made up of the elements Alex, Cassie, Drew, and Hunter. Ibig sabihin, ang naglalaro lamang ng soccer ay si Alex, si Cassie, si Drew, at si Hunter. And Cassie, Drew, and Jade played tennis. Tennis is equal to Cassie, Drew, Jade. Ang naglalaro ng tennis ay si Cassie, si Drew, at si Jade. Now, we can put their names in two separate circles. The first circle is soccer. Those people who play soccer are Alex, Cassie, Drew, and Hunter. On the other side, we have the circle that have tennis. The people that play tennis are Cassie, Drew, and Jade. Union you can now list your friends that play soccer or tennis. This is called a union of set that has a special symbol of big U. Soccer union of tennis is equal to Alex, Cassie, Drew, Hunter, and Jade. So pagsasamayin natin ang mga naglalaro ng soccer at ng tennis. Kung may mauulit man, hindi natin kailangang ulitin ang pangalan, isang pangalan lamang ang ating ilalagay. Not everyone is in that set. Only your friends that play soccer or tennis or both. In other words, we combine the elements in the two sets. So pagsasamayin lamang natin ang nasa soccer at nasa tennis na set. We can show that in the Venn diagram. In soccer, Alex and Hunter only play soccer. In tennis, only Jade plays tennis alone. Now, Cassie, Drew, they play both tennis and soccer. Kung sa una, sa soccer, nilalaro lamang ni Alex at Hunter ang soccer. Si Jade naman ay naglalaro lamang ng tennis. Samantalang, si Cassie at Drew ay parehas nilalaro ang soccer at tennis. Kaya sila ay nasa pagitan ng dalawang bilog. A Venn diagram is a clever because it shows a lot of information. Do you see that Alex, Cassie, 
Drew and Hunter are in the soccer set and that Kathy, Drew and Jade are in the tennis set. And here is the clever thing. Kathy and Drew are both set. All that in one small diagram. So gagamitin natin ang Venn diagram. Sa unang pilog makikita natin nasa soccer si Alex, si Kathy, Drew at si Hunter. Nasa ikalawang, nasa ikalawang bilog naman ang mga naglalaro ng tennis na si Kathy, Drew at si Jade. Pero si Kathy at si Drew ay nasa pagitna ng dalawang bilog. Intersection It is when you must be in both steps. In our case, that means they play both soccer and tennis, in which is Kathy and Drew. The special symbol for intersection is an upside-down U like this. And this is how we write it. Soccer intersects with tennis is equal to Kathy and Drew. Ang intersection naman ay kung saan parehas na naglalaro ng soccer at ng tennis. Dito, si Kathy at si Drew iyon. Ang symbol natin ay baliktad ng malaking letter U. Pag sinulat natin, ang soccer ay nag-intersect sa tennis at ang naglalaro lamang ng soccer at tennis na parehas ay si Kathy at si Drew. Tingnan nyo ang Venn Diagram. Nasa gitna si Kathy at si Drew. Difference You can also subtract one set from another. For example, Taking soccer and subtracting tennis means people that play soccer but not tennis, which is Alex and Hunter. And this is now how we write it. Soccer, the difference to tennis is equal to Alex and Hunter. Sinabi natin difference, aaari natin subtract ang isang set mula sa isa pa. Halimbawa, aalisin natin ang soccer sa tennis. Ibig sabihin, alisin natin ang mga tao na naglalaro ng soccer pero hindi naglalaro ng tennis. Ayun ay sila Alex at si Hunter. Let's look at the Venn diagram. On the soccer plays, Alex and Hunter plays soccer alone. They do not play tennis too. Summary so far. Big U is union is in either set or both set. Reverse U is intersection, only in both set. Dash is difference, in one set but not the other. Ang capital U ay union o pagsasama. Ito ay makikita sa parehas na set o pagsasamahin natin silang dalawang set. Ang baliktad na U naman ay intersection. Ito ay yung mga nasa parehas na set o parehas na naglalaro ng tennis at soccer. Dash is different. It's in one set but not the other. Nasa isang set pero hindi kasama sa iba o sa gitna. 3 set. So you can also use Venn diagram for 3 set. Let us say the third set is volleyball, which Drew, Glenn, and Jade play. In other words, Valuable set is equal to Drew, Glenn, and Jade. Maaari tayong gumamit ng tatlong set sa Venn diagram. Halimbawa, idagdag natin ang set ng volleyball na naglalaro ay sila Drew, Glenn, at Jade. Kaya, valuable set ay binubuo nila Drew, Glenn, at Jade. But let be more mathematical and use a capital letter for each set. S means the set of soccer players. T means the set of tennis players. V means the set of volleyball players. Gawin nating mas matematikal. Gumamit tayo ng malaking S para sa mga naglalaro ng soccer. Malaking T para sa mga naglalaro ng tennis lamang. At malaking B sa mga naglalaro ng volleyball lamang. Tingnan ninyo ang pagsasama ng tatlong set. Ang soccer, tennis, at ng volleyball. You can see, for example, 
that Drew plays soccer, tennis, and volleyball. Jade plays tennis and volleyball. Alex and Hunter play soccer but don't play tennis or volleyball. No one plays only tennis. So makikita natin sa alimbawa na si Drew ay naglalaro ng soccer, tennis, at ng volleyball. Si Jade naman ay naglalaro ng tennis at ng volleyball parehas. Si Alex at si Hunter ay naglalaro ng soccer pero hindi sila naglalaro ng tennis o kaya ng volleyball. At wala namang sino sa kanila ang naglalaro ng tennis lamang. Now, can you now have some fun with unions and intersection? Tignan ninyo ang set ng letter S. Nasa loob ng S, si Alex, si Hunter, si Cathy at si Drew. Pero si Alex at si Hunter lamang ang naglalaro ng soccer. Samantalang si Cathy ay nasa gitna ng soccer at ng tennis. Ibig sabihin, naglalaro siya ng parehas ng soccer at ng tennis. Tignan nyo naman si Drew. Si Drew ay nasa gitna ng soccer, tennis at volleyball. Ibig sabihin, naglalaro siya ng tatlo. Si Jade naman ay sa, sa pagitan ng tennis at ng volleyball. Ibig sabihin, parehas niyang nilalaro. Si Glenn naman ay makikita lamang sa volleyball. Kaya ibig sabihin, volleyball lamang ang nilalaro niya. Sa letter T, wala namang naglalaro. Ibig sabihin, wala naglalaro ng tennis lang kundi kailangan may kasamang iba. This is the unions of T and B. Kapag pinagsama natin, tingnan ninyo ang set ng S, si Alex, si Cassie, si Drew at si Hunter. Pero pag ginawa natin ang union, the union set of T and B will be Cassie, Drew, Jade, and Glenn. Apat na sila ngayon. This is the intersection of set S and B. Sabihin, parehas naglalaro ng, eh, ng soccer at ng volleyball. Ayun ay si Drew. And how about this? Take the previous set S, intersects with B, then subtract T. So si S, as TB minus CT. So, ibig sabihin, wala sa kanila ang naglalaro lamang ng, so ng soccer at ng tennis. So, ibig sabihin, walang laman ang set. Hey, there's nothing there. That's okay. It is just the empty set. It is still a set. So, we use the curly bracket with nothing inside. The empty set has no element. Huwag mag-alala kung empty set. Gamit pa rin tayo ng curly bracket pero wala tayong ilalagay sa loob. Ibig sabihin, walang sino man ang miyembro ng empty set. Universal set The universal set is the set that has everything. Well, now exactly everything. Everything that we are interested in now. Sadly, the symbol is the letter U, which is easy to confuse with U for union. You just have to be careful, okay? In our case, the universal set is the 10 best friend. U is equals to Alex, Blair, Cassie, Drew, Erin, Francis, Glenn, Hunter, Ira, and Jade. So, ang universal set ay kasama ang lahat. Lahat ng pagpipilian natin. Pero ito ay medyo nakakalito sa letter ng malaking U. At U isang U para sa union. Kaya kayo ay maging careful. Magamit tayo ng malaking letter U tulad na nasa alphabet para sa universal set. Samantalang parang magnet naman na letter U para sa union. We can show the universal set in a Venn diagram by putting a box around the whole thing. Alagyan natin ng box para malaman natin ito ay universal set. Now you can see all the 10 best friends neatly sorted into what sport they play or not. Makikita natin yung malaking letter U doon sa taas. Sabihin, nasa loob yung naglalaro ng soccer, naglalaro ng tennis, naglalaro ng volleyball, at yung mga apat na walang nilalaro. So sila pa rin sampo ang nasa loob ng universal set. And then, we can do interesting things like take the whole set and subtract the ones that play soccer. 
So, maaari nating alistin ang naglalaro ng soccer. So, ito ay sila Alex, Hunter, Casty, at Drew. We write it this way. Universal set minus soccer is equals to Blair, Erwin, Francis, Glenn, Ira, and Jade. Sabihin silang apat ang hindi naglalaro ng soccer. We say the universal set minus the soccer set is the set. Blair, Erwin, Francis, Glenn, Ira, and Jade. In other words, everyone who does not play soccer. So silang anim ang hindi naglalaro ng soccer. A universal set minus soccer. Aalisin natin yung naglalaro ng soccer at may iwan yung mga hindi naglalaro ng soccer. Complement. And there is a special way of saying everything is not. And it is called complement. We show it by writing a little c like this. Some capital S and C, which means everything that is not in S like this. Complement ay ibig sabihin lahat ng wala. Nagamit tayo ng isang malaking letter C at may maliit na letter C. Letter S, may malaking letter S at maliit na letter C sa tabi. Tingnan nyo. S and C is equals to Blair, Erin, Francis, Glenn, Ira, Jade. Exactly the same as the U, Universal, minus the Soccer. Summary U is union. It is either set or both set. Intersect is intersection only in both set. Dash is different. is one set but not the other. AC is the complement of A. Everything that is not A. Empty set, the set with no elements shown by this bracket. Universal set, all things we are interested in. So, ibig sabihin, ang U ay union o pagsasama. Parehas na sa lahat ng set. Sinabi naman natin intersection, ito ay nasa parehas na set. Difference ay nasa isang set pero wala sa iba. AC naman ay complement lahat nang hindi kasama sa letter A. Empty set ay walang laman na set. Universal set ay lahat ng bagay kung saan tayo ay interesado. I hope you learned something today. See you on the next lesson.